On to my Gemini. So you Geminis have the uh, Four of Wands, the Page of Wands, I love these cards, the Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and last but not least, the Queen of Swords. So what I'm seeing here for a lot of you uh, Geminis, right? By the way, that Gemini video um, is going to be coming up pretty soon. That I said that, you know, um, I'm trying to actually cut it down because there's so much to talk about. I, I tried doing the video. The video came out to be something like 30 some odd minutes. So I'm going to have to shorten that video. Just kind of give you all the cliff notes, you know, the cliff notes on that. But anyway, so the point is that for you Geminis, the Four of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands represents so far how a lot of you Geminis right now. A lot of you Geminis, like I said, y'all want something romantic with somebody. You obviously want love, but you, you want it if it's romantic. You want it if it's nice and steamy and dreamy, right? The thing is that the Page of, uh, the page of Wands and the Ace of Wands represents, but so far right now, what it is that you're only getting is controversy drama and um confrontation between yourselves and other people um a lot of you gemini's realize that that right now you don't necessarily see it being the easiest time for you or i should say more accurately <laughs> right <laughs> uh you're not you're not um this hasn't this hasn't been the best experience for you when it comes to mating and dating now, the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles represents, again, you've pretty much just been putting yourselves out there with to no avail, right? You know, no one has essentially been like, okay, let's hang out. You know, a lot of people that like you, but unfortunately, you have a lot of people that are not necessarily healed. And to, to be honest with you, Geminis, that is very much so true. Um, when it comes to mating and dating, a lot of people are really, a lot of people are not really healed. They're not. And the reason why I'm saying that they're not healed is because when you really look at it, um, we go through so much thanks, thanks to these goofy individuals that are running around playing so much games, delusional people who are, who are stupid as hell. Trust me, they're, they're, they're not the brightest bulbs on a tree. Because when you ask them for certain things, you realize just how stupid a lot of them really are. Anyway, so the point is, is that we go through so much with these goofballs to the point where the people who actually are looking for relationships, yeah, we kind of have to do, we kind of have to pick up the pieces from where it is that we essentially left off and even come back and even be better and that's kind of our own challenge that we have to essentially do because when we don't, what happens if we decide not to pick up the pieces? Then we become shells of our former selves, right? We end up not living the lives that we want. So yeah, that is, that is, this is true so far. The cards, what the cards are showing me is very much so true. You know how a lot of people, I, I, you know, really few in comparison to the people who do you know, to the people who do want relationships, because ultimately every, I ain't gonna, yeah, ultimately everybody wants relationships, right? Including people who are delusional. But the problem is, is that the people who are delusional, they, they spread too much nonsense around for it to actually be a better dating experience. So what happens is, is that when, you know, you Geminis end up finding yourselves in a position where a lot of y'all are like, wow, what do we do next, right? Like, how come a lot of people are not necessarily trustworthy? It kind of ruins it, you know? It, not kind of, it definitely does ruin it because a lot of people are out here really tripping and, and playing their cards wrong. So the Eight of Wands and the Five of Wands just represents how, again, that experience, the experience that you've been having is not necessarily the best but the eight of wands, the eight cards are pretty much the moments of truths where it's like you can't you you are aware, you you get more awareness of the situation. Like, look, you know that you want this particular situation. You know that a lot of you know that what you want is something real, but 
what are the obstacles in your way? The obstacles is the, the some of the people are delusional and they playing games. And the other obstacle is not a lot of people really believing that a relationship is for real. And this is what it is that honest people have to essentially fight against kind of an uphill battle. I'm not saying that it's that it's impossible for real people, right? Because people climb, climb Mount Everest, <laughs> you know, literally every day. You know, there's monks or, or there's people who, who live as monks anyway, live away from, from modern day society who literally live on Mount Everest. If you don't believe me, look it up. And they and they, you know, make do with what it is that they have sitting up wherever it is that they are on that mountain. But it's just that for, for you Geminis, it's just taking y'all a little while, you know? It's taking y'all a little bit of while because you Geminis are usually used to... Like, you gotta understand, like, since 2020, since we had this storm out here, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna say the name of it, but you know what I mean. Since 2020, since we had this storm out here, you gotta understand, like, I, you know, I was born with Saturn in, in Aquarius in the 11th house, right? I said, I used to say 12th house. That's before I really found out my real placements. I do have Saturn in Aquarius, but it's in the 11th house. But that was before the Saturn in, in, went into Aquarius for the whole world, right? So me, I live with Saturn in Aquarius. So, so when the, the storm happened, this was no sweat off my back at all. This was basically another day for me, another year for me, right? It ain't affect me any at all. Literally, didn't affect me at all. As a matter of fact, it probably made things better for me. <laughs> cause, but it kind of shifted the world into, cause what does Aquarius represent? Aquarius, which is, a, which is another air sign, Aquarius represents socializing. Right. Along with the other air signs, it represents socializing. Right. But what happened? The storm stopped the socializing that the air signs thrive off of. Right. You Gemini's, the Libras, the Aquarius, there's no more socializing. So because of the fact that there's no more socializing, what it did, it kind of put the whole world into a space where it's more about internal it's more in-house. It's more internal wants. It's more of the, the mirrors in your f face. You don't have a choice. You have to self-reflect. If you don't self-reflect, things are going to go bad for you. So technically, you do have a choice, but you're stuck in between a rock and a hard place. You can choose to reflect, self-reflect, and it's not, you know, it's not going to be easy the at the time. But at the same time, it's better than what, it, what would happen if you don't self-reflect. And a lot of you Geminis are self-reflecting about your experience. And a lot of you Geminis, the more difficult you, the more difficulties a lot of you Geminis are having when it comes to dating is the more you Geminis are starting to understand the significance of what you were kind of missing out on or kind of ignoring when you were younger. Because let's face it, Gemini can be, Gemini can, can play. Gemini can be a little bit of the people who like to play and enjoy their time, you know, enjoy their youth. But since this storm that we had out here, like I said, it puts it put things and just how it changed the world forever. And now up to here, how the way that people view relationships and interact as a unit, as a couple, it changed forever, especially even more since the storm hit. What does this mean? A lot of you Geminis un are understanding that you want a relationship even more. And it doesn't have anything to do with the, the storm per se, as far as that being the main point. But what it is, is what it is, is that for you Geminis, a lot of you Geminis have an understanding that ultimately what it is, is that a lot of you Geminis, you want a relationship, you want something strong you want a relationship that's real right like i said before that that storm really put a lot of things into perspective for a lot of people and it forever changed the dating pool because it put things into a perspective where we had a whole year to self-reflect and now that self-reflection when we're feeling the effects even three years later right 
and the what what was important to you 2019 and under 2019 2018 going on back is not necessarily more more important or takes as as much importance as it as it does now so what's going on with a lot of you uh gemini's is a lot of you gemini's want relationships and the difficulties is just showing you why having a relationship is important because the five of swords just kind of represents the the difficulties that you're having i said five of wands five of swords excuse me just represents the difficulties that you've been having about how it is that a lot of people have been trying to play you and stuff like this and it hasn't been working and the difficulties right the the the, the delusional people the, the the difficulties that you've been having but it goes to show a lot of you gemini's like this is is actually worth something prior to, prior to 2020 you would have potentially have not necessarily seen what was the value in it but now you understand like this is very valuable the ten of pentacles is a sense of having to pay right not necessarily being so so worried about because like i said before 2020 put a lot of things in a perspective because what happens when you can't what happens when it's very difficult for you to see your friends see your family members see the people who you who you may take for granted you know what i mean every single day when you go outside in your community and you know or every day and then you know it comes a day in which it's harder for you to meet those people in your community you understand what i mean because now it's you gotta wear a mask and all this other type of stuff right all this other type of goofy stuff so you understand now the 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 importance of socializing and the importance of love and stuff like this and the ten of pentacles represents a lot of you gemini's now that things have been put into perspective a lot of you gemini's shouldn't worry about paying paying for dates and all this other type of stuff. why because at the end of the day money stays here you understand you understand what i'm saying money stays here but you can't replace a life you know, you can't you can't bring a life into a body. You can't do that. You can't bring somebody back that's unfortunately already gone. You understand what I'm saying? So when you look at it from that perspective, just paying what a couple of dollars, which you should be paying only a couple of dollars. You shouldn't be paying all this amount of money to get to know somebody in the first place. This, you know, you don't mind this type of stuff, right? The Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords represents, but at the same time, too, you Geminis can still afford to pay less. And how you do that is stop trying to go out with people who, you know, stop trying to go out with people and just immediately going on dates that require you paying for something. Go out on dates, get a get a get an ice cream cone. The two of y'all get some ice cream cones. You know, y'all hang out, walk in a park, talk. You know what I mean? Oh, like, for instance, I know how to make a date for almost free. Go, right, go travel all the way to Central Park. Go hang out, meet the person. Go. There's plenty of vendors up by Central Park because Central Park is Midtown or in Midtown. Go get an ice cream cone, like I just said before. Talk to the person. Central Park is the biggest park in the world. Literally, it's the biggest park in the world. I can literally walk there through the whole park. It's huge if you've ever been there. Freaking huge. It's huge. Surrounded by, it's this big space. For, have fun. Talk it out. Kick it. Enjoy myself. I don't have to spend all this amount of money. You Geminis don't have to spend all this amount of money. So if you Geminis even feel like, oh... You're doing all this and you're not even getting anything that you want out of it. Cut the cost. Cut the outflow. And how you do that is by just managing it out. Get more creative. What can you do for cheaper and still get to know the person? If the if the person if the if if the person requires you Gemini's to be doing all this spending, then it means that the person isn't really interested in actually getting to know you. Because people who are playing games that that just need a place to stay or some sort of financial um gain if they're very impatient and 
they are not going to understand the idea of it all that the idea of it is for you to get to know the person for you to start to date them not for you to get a free meal you're supposed to be an adult you're supposed to be able to pay and take care of yourself to get your own meal the queen of swords now represents but at the same time you gemini's don't even have to worry about the difficulties let me show you how easy it is right let me let's clarify some cards let's clarify the ten of pentacles Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Swords, right? You're, you're worried about getting turned down again if you try to speak to another person and you're just putting up all this amount of money. Well, like I said before, Gemini, cut the cost. You don't have to spend all this hot to toe money or, or, or this ton of money. All you need to do is just use the creativity that I know a lot of you Geminis have and find something that is free or close to free and go hang out. If there's any kind of video game competitions, you know, where I remember I took somebody on a date to a video game competition. They real into video games, took them on a video game competition. All the, all the I mean, you know, and it, it was, it was what? It was 20 bucks. And I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> like I, I'm not hurting my pockets to get to know somebody we had a blast it was a fun time we kicked it i even got a second date easy easy you understand what i'm saying same thing for you you have any video game competitions car shows uh walk in the park just a little ice cream something something that's thoughtful that don't even require you gemini's end up having to give all this amount of money and not only that too, but a lot of that dinner date type stuff is bougie anyway. You know, because rich people don't go there to for the food. Rich people go there because of the because of the fact that some it's something it's 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 something that breaks them out of the monotony because they're so regimented. And number two, they're going there for the atmosphere to just kind of get out of the house and take some fresh air and just kind of see the person whom they're dating in a, in a, literally up underneath a new light literally then you know what i'm saying let's clarify let's clarify the queen of swords now clarify the queen of swords seven of pentacles three of swords right ace of pentacles high priestess right you you know you don't even have to be worried about if people like you for you you know what it is that you need to do cut off like i told y'all cut off with all the trying to spend all this amount of money slow down a little bit how do you slow down don't spend so much money get you know take a person out that doesn't require you to do so much money that's something that you're interested in. See what it is that they do with that. See if they appreciate it. Because you're in the computers, right? Art, whatever. It's an art exhibit. You know, I done taken I done taken people to the MoMA, the modern the modern um, the Museum of Modern Art, free to get in. Look at some fly artwork, artwork, $5 million and above. I'm looking at it. It's just a coffee can, $5 million, five painting of a coffee can, $5 million and above at the time. Probably appreciated that this time. But the point is this, it, it, it was free. The, 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 the art, the museum of natural art free to get in. They survive off of donations and millionaires and billionaires who want to fork over some money got in for free didn't even have a dime in my pocket got in for free still went on a date still hung out still had a great time you know and see what they do if they if they require you to spend all this amount of money that's a requirement that means that when they require you to spend all this amount of money that means that the maintenance cost to keep them to stay interested 
they're only interested in the money and they're gonna immediately leave whenever it is that they get a better offer on both sides because both sides do it <laughs> both sides do it i'm not trying to make it seem like from only from my perspective no both sides do it you understand and then you have the ace of pentacles and the high priestess right you know um again learn how to get out of this is about how a lot of you gemini's have to learn to get out of your own a lot of you Gemini's have to learn to stop being so nervous. Relax. Enjoy yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Think of the person as a friend. Because you're putting too much pressure on, on your shoulders by trying to see if you and a person is really compatible. Learn how to have fun. A lot of people don't know how to have fun <laughs> anymore. Break the rules. What are the rules? Who cares if the person doesn't give you a call back at the end of it? Enjoy yourself. As long as you're not coming off disgusting, and as long as you're keeping yourself halfway decent, you good. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. There's a If you found value within this reading, there's a link in the comment section called a link tree. Click on it. It will redirect you to the website, website in which ways you can financially support me from my clothing store, the books that I have that are on Amazon. my website for private tarot readings as well as um my uh instagram page okay so yeah and if you need any kind of help setting up a private tarot reading with me then feel free to contact me at kareem spirit